Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how asynchronous programming works in C-sharp. So we have two key keywords, the async keyword which you mark a method with, which basically says that it's got some long running time and so you might need to um, wait for it to complete and whoever's calling the function can choose to await that or they might choose to continue on with other things while the um, function is running. So what I'm doing here is I'm just awaiting a task.delay of 5,000 seconds to simulate a long running task. And I've got a console write line that will happen before that and a console write line that will happen after that. So basically if I were to call this asynchronous function, I would see starting task, a delay of five seconds and then completing task. So I'm going to do a console write line here that's just going to be before the waiting for some time. And I'm going to show you what it's like if you were choosing to await the function versus not awaiting. And after I call it, I'm just going to do a after wait for some waiting for some time console log. Just using the console logs because it shows quite clearly the order that things are happening in for people. So I'm going to do an await and I'm going to await waiting for some time, which basically means that I'm just going to wait for that method to complete before I output my after waiting for some time. So if I go ahead and run that, you should see before waiting for some time, starting task, a delay of five seconds, completing task, and then it should say after waiting for some time. But you can actually also just um, hold the value of the task and um, await it later. So what happens here is you don't actually need to wait for the waiting for some time method to complete before your next line of code is um, executed. It will wait until it hits that await part before it needs to actually wait for that method to complete. So this time we see that after waiting for some time actually is output before completing task and that's because our wait of the task is actually after that, um, that console write line. I'm also going to show you that you can actually return values from these asynchronous functions. That's probably one of the times they're more useful because you're going to be waiting for a result and you might want to do multiple um, calls to APIs and await them um, after you've made all the calls so that you're not waiting and doing everything sort of synchronously. Um, so yeah. If you await the task, then you'll get that value back from it. So you can see I've got before waiting for some task, starting task, after waiting for some task, completing task, and then the value that was returned by my um, method, which was 10. I could also choose to just await waiting for some time um, before my... Uh, after a waiting for some time console write line and that would be more synchronous because I'm not um, leaving my await till later on and I'm sort of blocking the code execution. So you can see before waiting for some time then I start my task. It'll then output completing task because I'm awaiting it then 10 because I've awaited it and then after waiting for some time. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have, please like and subscribe for more content.